What's up everyone, I'm Bill with Cali Track Days and we are back with our 2018 MT-09. Today we are doing heated hand grips. It's winter time so we gotta keep our little paws nice and warm. Uh, we're not lucky enough to have the BMW stock one. Uh, best believe the 2020 that we have ordered has the heated hand grips already installed but the MT-09 doesn't come with them. So we have ordered the uh, Koso K-O-S-O, Apollo heated hand grips. Uh, what was nice about these is the hand grip dial was right there on the, um, on the grip. So it's not an external box that you have to move your hand to. So when you're on the grip, you can actually just change the settings. And it has five different settings. It's off 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. So we can change the settings of how hot we want our hands or how cold we want our hands. So we're gonna walk through and we're gonna go ahead and pull the, uh, the old ones off and get the new ones uh, installed. We do have the tank already off. We wanna run the lines nice and clean so if you missed it make sure to view our uh, removing the tank video on the MT-09 and we're gonna run these lines back to the battery and get everything installed nice and clean so let's get this uh, packaging opened up so in the packaging we've got the wire harness and we've got the two, obviously, the two grips. And you'll notice here on the thing, this is on the, I believe it's the left-hand grip. So this will be our clutch lever. Um, this is where our uh, little clicker is. And all of the wire harnesses. So let's get this thing snipped open. Now I did peek at the instructions and we do have some little clips that we can actually remove. Let's see. There we go. Let's grab a little screwdriver to poke this in. So there's just a little clip which removes the this one, there we go. And so now we've got our wire harness and our two handles completely loose from each other. So let's first run the wire harness. Um, actually, let's do it backwards. Let's run them from the grips back. So this way in the extra wire harness, we can tuck in the, uh, uh, in the frame here. So we'll hang this one over this side. And I think we will start with the easy one. So we are going to grab, let's see, I've already loosened them. There it is. Eight, it's an eight millimeter which is for the bar ends. So we've already cracked these loose. So we're gonna remove the bar ends completely. I believe we can put the bar ends back on. In the packaging, there are clips that go on the end. Um, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to slide these in. I'll show you why, because they're quite large. Um, but I kind of test fitted it and it looked like it was gonna work. But you can see that these go all the way into the bar end and they're quite large um, and weighty. So you'll see here, view. So um, let's see how that goes. Now, obviously our grips, they are glued on. So we are gonna have to cut the old grips off. So we've got our throttle side here. You sure you want heat in your grips? All right, it's too late. So I'm just kind of uh, gradually pulling this up so I don't cut too much. And goodbye old grips. It had to come to grips. That was easy. 
Um, where did I put the other sign up? Oh, found it. <laughs> All right, so this should be able to slide right on. It does. So let's see. Already starts. All right, um, so it's a little tight fit once it gets in there onto the throttle tube. Now, if you didn't know, um, the throttle side tube is always bigger than the non-throttle side tube. So, you can see there you've got the larger one, which will go on the throttle, and the smaller one, which goes on the uh, left side, okay? Non-throttle. <laughs> So they did give us some glue in here. The glue is going to act as a lubricant and it's also going to act as a um, glue. <laughs> Ironic. So let's see what this is going to take to get open without getting all over myself. It is super glue. So they give you a little handy dandy, and of course it's getting everywhere. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna slide this back on, make sure we get it all over our fingers. And so, we're gonna see here, hopefully we can see back here. So you're gonna see, this is the ideal mounting. So we want this wire right back here, so we want to get it mounted. We don't want, obviously, the wire up front, so we want to make sure it's nice and in the back. So we're going to work a little quick on this. Get the glue, slide it all the way in, and make sure that that's nice and rested in this position so the wire can go back and be tucked nice and easy. So let's go ahead and, oh, working quick. All right, so we are on there. So now we've got the wire and we're gonna be able to tuck this wire up through the rest of the assembly. We'll zip tie it all the way down. Make sure we've got enough room. All right, good deal. And I didn't get glue everywhere, just a little bit. All right, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and cut off our other side. And again, I'm picking it up as I cut lightly, so that way it just Oh, we're metal over here, so it doesn't matter as much. The other side is plastic, so we want to make sure that there's, we don't cut into the plastic throttle tube. I'm hitting a little bit of glue here at the end. The Yama glue. It's the official name. Just made that up. All right. And so on this one again, we want the wire harness. We want to make sure that it goes on with the wiring in the back. And then we want to make sure that this is at a nice position that our thumb is in a comfortable spot when we're resting, okay? And I'm assuming super glue again, but let's go ahead and I like it. Mr. Glue, where are you? I think I'm gonna put it inside the throttle tube this time. I think that's the smart decision.
work kind of quick. All right. I'm aborting mission here because when I pulled the old one off, there is a little bit of extra debris. I didn't think it was gonna matter too much, but I wanna get this cleaned up real quick. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of fine sandpaper and just seeing that little glue off. Ooh, that was tight. I don't want that glue to set in. Someone once told me the trick on getting grips on. I forget what they used. It wasn't glue. Spray something. Some spray. I don't know. All right. So we're gonna try this again. Let's get this nice and clean. Oh yeah, that's nice now. Huh? More glue. More glue? Lube. Lube? Lube. <laughs> and then you went rant, 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 rant. All right, let's go ahead and just put it on stem, maybe. Maybe it didn't have enough down the shaft. I know some of you guys will enjoy that. All right, and away we go. So I just kind of rotated it and pushed it as I went on to the bar end, or the bar. Got a little bit of glue on me. All right. And it's not moving now. All right. So now the test will be, will the bar ends go back on? Appears. I'm a happy camper with that, and I'm sure Bogdan is a happy camper because I th I think these are gonna you know I know that there's debate back a few years ago. When I say a few years ago, I think ten years ago <laughs> um, about weighted bar ends and do they help with vibration and stuff. This bike doesn't vibrate too much. It's a triple, so it's got a little vibration. Um, it wheelies, I'll tell you that, but um, I'm not sure if these help or not, but let's get, keep them on. And so this one, so we can't, can't put this one on because the bar end, unless we cut, I think we're gonna have to cut a little bit of the grip off which there is, there is a little bit of extra grip on this. And I wonder if we take this grip and snip it off on this MT-09. Now understand, this might be universal, so some of you guys might be watching this video to see how we just simply put them on. I think universally it's gonna be the same. You gotta cut the old grips off, you gotta put the new grips on. Um, so your bar ends might be different, bar ends might fit differently. Um, I'll show you what they did put in the pack. So in the pack, they have this little bar end. Obviously this cap just goes right on the end and uh, keeps it, set up pro, GoPro again. This is a pro, this is a pro mount right here. Just sit there. <laughs> um, but I really, I really would like to put the bar end on, so. And I think we're close. I think we're close. I don't think we're close. <laughs> so our, our old one. All right, babe, it's up to you. Do we cut the grip or not? All right, I think we've aborted mission on cutting it. Um, all right, so I think what I will do, is I think, I think you're right. I think if we take a spacer and put the spacers in there, a couple washers, then what we can do is that would push the bar in out. 
So we're gonna head over to Granger tomorrow and get those. So hopefully when, we're gonna do a review on this also. So make sure you stay tuned for the follow up on this. Um, and we'll talk about this. Remind me to talk about this. So right now we're gonna go ahead and leave it. And we're gonna get to routing. So we're gonna grab some zip ties, zippity zip zips. So on the wire here, the first zip was kind of important because we want to make sure that the throttle opens all the way in freely, just a little bit more. So what I've done is on the flip side here, if we can see it from this camera, is we do have a little loop here. So this way, when we get the throttle all the way on, it's just missing the back of the throttle um, cables. So it goes all the way on misses it, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and route it down. Again, the MT-09, um, I'll talk about a little bit about how I route it, but we're gonna route it just cleanly on the right side. So we're gonna be on the throttle side, we're gonna come down through past the air box and into the battery. Um, but if you're uh, watching this just for a general to see how these are installed, you know, find your best route, but make sure that you've got enough on the throttle side. Now, on the, um, on the uh, clutch side, you can really make it nice and tight and nice and clean because there's no, obviously there's no grip to it. So as a matter of fact, since I'm here, I'll go ahead and put this zip tie on. So clean. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward past all this and me all right and routing all the wires. So um, we'll be back in a few. I know what we need. Mm -hmm. We need some elevator music. Cue the elevator music. So, so far the install's been pretty nice. Um, it's super, super clean. It really is. Um, so we're now at the point that we've got both of the lines that are going to go into the connection. I am hoping that I can run this thing to the other side. And we've got about, what do we got? Four feet of line for the power and whatnot. Um, it, it was clear in the instructions to be careful around the module box. So we're going to try to get this tucked in the frame. So it's kind of out of ways, but um, so far installs pretty nice and easy. Um, the routing has been pretty simple. Um, we're just going to try to get everything right over on this side so we can get everything plugged in and tucked into the frame and then run down under the air box back to the battery. All right, so I found the destination that I like to run through the bars, and we are we have both of the um, clips on the uh, the throttle side, and so we are going to let's see, I think I'm going to route it this way through and in. So there's a little wire harness on the MT-09 right here where all the wires come in from the headlights. So I'm gonna try to push this wiring down. All right, so I'm in the first little junction, so I'm pulling through here. And then I'm gonna run this to the next little junction. And back up through. It was going so well. Here we go. All right. So we've got the majority of the wire pulled through. This is the little fuse box pops through. All right. So now we are in the engine compartment. I guess. So now we've got the extra left over here. So we're gonna make sure we get plugged in first. So clippity clip clip. 
number one. Number two. One. Number two. And again, here's that little box that they want you to be careful of. So I'm going to be careful. And we're going to pull this line through. And I like this because the box and the clips are going to be inside the frame. So obviously they built these things for weather. So we don't have to worry about, you know, water getting in or whatnot and that we need to, you know, take these off. The connections, from what I read on the reviews, um, the connections are watertight, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to be tucking this into the little compartment. Nice, nice. I'm gonna borrow this little camera just to kind of give you guys the view. So we ran the wire down here and we're down into here. And this is, these are the two harness wires and then back up through this side, right up to here our switch. Now this is all run through here and here is our cable and quite a bit of cable. I was actually kind of um, not sure not sure how much extra line we would have but we've got quite a bit so this is um, not a big bike but if you're doing like a I'm assuming gold wings have them but a bigger bike like a Maybe a Hayabusa. You've got enough line to run this um, all the way through. So we are going to tuck this nice and around. And there's a little wire harness right here that I'm gonna go ahead and start zip tying them to just to secure the wiring. Um, make sure you don't zip tie it to the fuel line. Oh, a couple drips of fuel. So I'm just going to continue zipping this stuff up real quick. Cue elevator music. I just almost did the zip tie without the wire in there. Dumb. All right, so we are now at the junction of the battery. Uh, and you can see we've still got about another foot, so we're gonna kind of ravel this up. Um, the battery, we got a positive and negative, and I'm not sure why they did that. That wasn't very smart. Let's see if we can dig out a connector for the positive side. They gave us one on the negative side, but not on the positive side. So positive and negative, both Phillips head on this bike. Go ahead and pop the screws off. battery there's a little spot on the other side so I'm going to tuck it in on the other side here. The extras. And we'll run it over here. So we're going to go to the top of the battery terminal. So we went direct to the battery. So we do bypass the key, obviously. So we should have power. And let's go ahead and grab this bad boy here. So we've got our red, blue, and we've got green, yellow, orange, red, and then back to off. 